we are on MCA TV at Birth Congress 2018 in Venice. We are with Professor Yves Ville, uh, Professor and Chairman of the Department of Obstetric and Fetal Medicine at Necker and Falmalade Hospital at the Paris Descartes University. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, which are the most important advances in diagnosis and treatment of a congenital cytomegalovirus infection? Well, the CMV infection is the one is the most frequent congenital infection leading to potentially severe damage in the newborn and the infants. It of a concern for about half a percent of all birth in Europe. And the knowledge uh, in, about the virus and its management is evolving so quickly that very often not only the public but also the doctors stay far behind. So, for example, very new advances in the knowledge is that about half of the infection occur from a first contact of the mother with the virus transmitting to the baby, but the other half occurs from a, another contact with the virus. So immunity to the mother is not completely protective, and that's something that is often overlooked. The second very new thing is that we now know for certain that the damage only occurs from infection contracted by the mother in the beginning of the pregnancy, in the first trimester. And that thereafter, the infection, even if it does infect the fetus, and therefore the baby a few months later, is not severe at all. So the concern now can focus on the first trimester. And we hope that this new knowledge will prompt national health systems, so far none of them does it, to really inform women and doctors, and second, to screen for this condition in the first trimester. Because another knowledge over the last five years that has improved immensely is the way to diagnose a primary infection in a pregnant woman in the first trimester. In the past, only five years ago, it was thought that the test we were applying, the serology, would carry a very high false positive rate, up to 10, 20%, which doesn't really fit with screening. Now the techniques have improved so much that the degree of, a certain, of uncertainty is less than 1%. So we can nearly all the time diagnose an infection in the first trimester. Finally, we know now how to monitor a pregnancy with an infected fetus. We know we recognize much better than before which fetuses may become severely affected and those that are likely to be born without any problem. And for those whom you think could be uh, affected after birth, we have now the possibility of a treatment with antiviral drugs that are safe for the pregnancy, safe for the fetus, and safe for the mother. So if you put all this together, you really need to give an update to healthcare providers so that they can carry those messages across.